Another idea to apply is binary research method to find the string with the maximum value L, which is the common prefix of all of the string. The algorithm search with space is the interval from zero to minimal length, where minimal length is the minimal string length, and then we return the maximum possible common prefix. So each time search space is divided into two equal parts, one of them is discarded because we are sure that it doesn't contain the solution. So there are two possible cases. The first case, if s from 1 to middle is a common string, this means that for each i less than j, s from 1 to i is a common string. Then we can discuss the first half of the search space because we are going to try to find the longer common prefix. The second case, if s from 1 to middle is not a common string, this means that for each j greater than i, s from 1 to j is not a common string. Then we can discuss the second half of the search space. So let's analyze the complexity. In the worst case, we have n equal strings with length n. So the time complexity is O of s multiplied log n, where well, s is the sum of all characters in all strings. The algorithms make log m iteration for each of them they have s equal to m multiplied n comparisons, which gives in total O of s multiplied log m time complexity. And about space complexity is just O of 1, because we only use the constant extra space. Let's look at the example. We have strings, leaves, legal, leak, and leads. So this length is 5855. Five, five. So the minimum length is 5, so we pass this value to high. So high is 5, the low is 1, and we can count the middle. The middle is uh, low plus high flow division by 2, which is 3. We pass the value 3 from middle to length. Now length is 3, so we can cut the first element of string, which is leads, cut into 3 characters. Uh, which is index 0, 1, 2, and before 3. So we can take it, it's, it is Li. We compare the Li with the rest of a uh, word in the strings, which is Li, Ko, Lik, and Leads. Then we can set a pointer. Pointer start from 0, I equal 0. That means that's our first element, Li. So we skip it because we take Li as our references. To compare with the rest of them, we should start with I pointer 1, 1 to until I pointer 3, 1, 2, 3. So the, we set the range, I should less than double underscore length, which is 4, I less than 4. Then we can start our iterate with start with Li. This is a function, built in function. So the result is 2, 2, 2, 2. So return 2. This is our overall function is common prefix. So we take the value true from is common prefix. Yes, it is common. Which part is common? It is the left part in the middle's left. So the middle is 3, the high is 5. Now the low should move to the right part. The low is middle plus 1 because we need to keep from the longer common prefix. It exists in the right side. So the low is 4 and the high is 5. The middle is 4 plus 5 flow division by 2, which is 4. So the len gets the value 4 from the middle, and the lead this time cut into 4 characters, which is lead. Compare it with lead, co lead, and the lead. So we move the pointer iterate with the start with, which is 2, 2, but false. So we return false this time, and this is also in the is common prefix function. We get the value false from is common prefix. We now know it is not common. The right part of the string is not common. We know the low is 4 and the middle is 4. And we need to move the high into searching the left part of them. So high is middle minus 1, which is 3. And this is our else statement. The low is 4, but the high is 3. The low is greater than high. So we should break this binary search and the middle is the low plus high followed division by 2, which is 3. And we take these 3 to cut our first word in the string. We take the 3 element, which is Li, and return the Li, which is our final result. 
So let's implement the algorithm in Python. First, we need to judge the edge case if the length of strings is zero. That means there's no element inside it. We just return an empty string. So we can start. First, we need to declare a minimal length to hold who is the minimal. Well, first, initialize to system's max size. Then it will narrow down. It will shrink, right? For a string in strings. So we iterate every element in the strings. So the minimal length, it will get the who is the minimal. Is the minimal already exists the minimal length of the length of uh, the current iteration? So after iterate, we will know who is the minimal. Then we can say the low is start from one, and the high is get the value from minimal length because this is our range shouldn't shouldn't uh, bigger than the minimal length, right? The the range. Now we can start our binary research while. The high is always less than the low is always less than or equal to high. So every time we we can calculate the middle is low plus high, follow division by two. And if it is a common prefix, if it is a common prefix. We get the parameter strings and the middle. So we put the middle in, inside. If it is the common prefix, if it is this half of them, if the right, if the left half of them, of them is a common prefix, then we can continue to calculate the right side of them. So the low is is equal to middle plus one. So that we move our range to the right side. So else. Else means that uh, it is not it is not common prefix. Then we should narrow down. We should narrow down to the left side. So high is middle minus one. So we need to narrow down to find more in the left side. Then after we finish, we just return the strings. For first, first element, the first word in the string is our used to compare with. So it's uh, index at zero. Then you start from zero to the mm, to the middle, right? To the middle. So this is how it works. But we need to define the function. Define another function. We need to use define whether it is a the function is here. It, whether it is a, a common prefix. So we can set the parameter self uh, strings and len. The len will get the value from the middle. So strings, we first declare uh, strings one is uh, strings zero. This is our first uh, element. This is our first uh, uh, word string in the strings. And it comes to zero to len. Len is the middle, right? Do you remember? And the i is one. Why i start from one, the index? Because we use the first one. We already use the first one as our references to compare with the rest of them in the in the strings array. Right. So we so we use a while i less than strings dot length. Strings dot length. The, the length is a four. So it shouldn't shouldn't run out of the range of four because it every time run the run the element one two one two three one two right so if the strings at i strings at i is every time iterate iterate the words in the strings dot start with is not equal to string. Then, if just one time is not equal to the string one, we just return false. So, and it should uh, the release value every time should increment by one, and uh, 
if it is a past, that means all of them is true, right? Then we return true, and this value will get into here to judge whether it is or it is true or false. Then we can run it. Yeah, that is how it works.